Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Steffi. Welcome to the channel, Steffi. Hello. And we're going to talk about Kalima. Um, of course, I'm a devotee of the Divine Mother Kalima. Um, Steffi is very close to the Divine Mother Kalima as well. So, um, you know, there's a lot of general aspects about Kalima that people kind of know. Um, would you like to describe your relationship to Kalima a little bit and maybe some aspects of y'all's relationship? Yes, she's my mother, my my one, my she's the one I go to when I'm having a hard day. If I I need to cry it out, if I need I'm super super struggling with myself and what I'm going through, what I had put in my hands, she comes and she holds me. She's got all of her arms ready to like knock down everything. But because I'm doing it, I'm doing all the heavy lifting and she's just on my back fighting off everything around me. So it's like I have this force field. And as hard as I work on what I want and what I need to accomplish for the good of everyone around me, she's on my back. Knocking down all these people trying to like throw me off my throw me off my right. And every time I go to her, she's always there. And she always appears, and she's always, always smiling, tongue out. Happy. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, like, what does she? So, like, for people out there, what does she look like astrally when it comes to energy? Because uh, for me, she looks like a slightly reddish white energy that's just a huge female form, and then the hair is kind of black. But um, what what does she look like as far as energy goes for you? So. Usually mom comes to me and she's all fire and flames and she's pure and it's pure void. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> it's completely empty and yet I'm completely sheltered and safe and it's awesome. There's nothing but bliss. So you feel like it's the uh, maybe the, as vi as far as visual goes, it's the darker aspect. But when it comes to what you experience, it's the um, it's the most compassionate form of that darkness. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. And so it's like a little scary because there's nothing there. But it's it's not scary at the same time because you don't feel scared. You feel perfect and content. And I don't like she doesn't ever when she does like show herself, she always shows herself and other people. And like some some of the things that people say, it's like, OK, mom, I hear you. you know, <laughs> these are my mom beads, my black ones, because that's her colors. But yeah. I got marked out. So I remember where I'm at in the dark. Yeah. So um, when it comes to things Kalima has done for you, like uh, have you approached her with a problem in your life and then she helped you solve it is there is there a couple examples 100 percent, and she loves fire that's her big 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 thing to work with i uh, i was like in a relationship for a year not a relationship it was not a relationship it's not a relationship he he was insistent upon it not being a relationship he would cook for me i would clean his house we would hang out at his house he would never come over to my house though he did not want to ever he came into my house for like three times in the year that we were spending time together. And I was just like, okay, mom, what the fuck is going on with this guy? Sorry. Um, and she's just like, let's set his house on fire. Oh, God. <laughs> so I like caught a stove on fire and I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm done with this because <laughs> nothing is nowhere. It's going nowhere. It's nowhere is going nowhere. He didn't want to go out with me. He was embarrassed to be around me. He didn't want me talking to his friends because he thought I was crazy and everything I said was bullshit. Exact quote. And so it's like, because I believe that I have the power to do everything myself, like I can do whatever I, I set my mind to and I focus my energy on it. The universe wants me to get what I want. The universe is out to get me what I want. 100%. I believe it every day. So, so, so like, did his house burn down? Or no, just his stove because just stove. okay, <laughs> just his stove. Because I had this dream about burning his house down and like burn the whole house down, 
And so I had a dream about it. And so I was like, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. And so I was just like, caught the stove on fire. And then I was like, put it out. He put it out because he was home at the time. And I was just like, yeah, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she works. If you don't listen to your mother, she's going to make you listen. So you feel like she was uh, she was communicating to you that you need to get out of the relationship. Oh and yeah. Yeah. I've, I've actually I felt a very a very similar way with like not getting into relationships. There's certain relationships that I could have gotten into in the past. Um, there's plenty of relationships that she was okay with, but relationships that um, sh- that I wanted to get to in the past where she gave me the vibes that no, this is not the proper way to go. This is not the person you're supposed to be with. Um, that definitely makes a lot of sense, and it's. It's interesting because she is like the strict mother, but she's the mother that's looking out for you. Um, so it's for your own good and benefit. Yes. And she rewards you like so much more. It's like okay, like no worry about it. Like here's all the, like a boom boom. Like and so I left that house because I was like unhappy because I happened to make the mistake of sleeping with a person upstairs in my house and then not wanting to be in that house anymore. So I ended up moving into this even bigger house. It's even nicer and has an even awesome layout and garden. I can go outside and eat anything in my gar- in my yard. And so it's like left that, got this. And so, yeah, I had to give a little, but then I got rewarded immensely more, like tremendously more. Like so yeah, much. so it was like um, you put you're put into a situation that um, you were more uh, self-sustaining, where you've come from a relationship where um, you're relying or being impeded by another individual, basically. Yeah, and now I can like wake up in the middle of the night and start doing my Macaulay my chants and just say cream as loud as I want to whenever the fuck. I- Right well, mantra, what mantra do you use with Kali Ma? Do you use the Om Kling Kali Kie Namaha? Is that one that you I use? That I do that one. I like, I like that one a lot. I Really, what gets me going, I just scream cream. I just go around. The, I just I start out like really low. I'm like, and I, I try to keep it to myself and contain it. But she, 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 like, she takes over, and I let her do it. I'm a conduit. I can't control it sometimes. Uh, I channel for other people. Um, I'm a, I'm a necromancer first and foremost. Spirits communicate with me. And if I'm channeling, if I'm feeling it, if it's the three o'clock power hour, a lot of people like to talk to me and I like to give it out. So do you feel like Kalima and necromancy are, uh, are connected? Yes, very much so. And, uh, so when, how, you, how do you understand necromancy when it's coming from like connected to Kalima? Like, um, how do you, how would you define it, or what are some practices in it? Either one. So necromancy, is one of the abilities to speak to the dead, is uh, one of its nec- uh, necromancy definitions: is the ability to speak to the dead, commune with the dead, speak to the dead, summon the dead, um, possess the dead. I don't like to do that. That's really not not right. Not in- my former life did that, and I confess. I was really good at it, and I was one of the best necromancers, of course, but not good. Not yeah. things you do. You don't need to play with that kind of magic. Ever. That makes sense. It's got some hefty, hefty le- leftovers for your next life, and it's not cool. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard to deal with that because you have to deal with all these spirits talking to you, and everybody wants to die on your birthday. And everybody wants to forget that it's your birthday and plan their grandma's funeral on your birthday two times. Um, mm-hmm. No big deal. Because then you get to see all your family and you get to help them remember the best days of their their deceased ones because they want to make you feel better because it's your birthday. Mm-hmm. And they it's like, cool, they died. You're still here. Let's get these stories told because that's why I'm here is to pass on stories from those ones that can't be told. They have leftover stories to tell. They can't tell them. I have a big mouth. I love to talk. I do it all day. So it's like, come here and talk to me. I'll tell you what's up. And so Kalima, she gives you that that ability. She just, like, opens your eyes while your eyes are closed and lets you hear so that... 
lets you like truly hear um, all the different dimensions, all the different, you know, the realm of the dead, the uh, those individuals in the realm of the dead and um, what you actually want to hear so that you can communicate to the world um, what you feel like the message is. Does that make sense? Yes, exactly. Uh, I've, had, I've had very similar experiences with Kali Mo, and I think that she is connected with to uh, communicating with the dead. Um, when a lot of people think of necromancy, they think about some um, digging up bodies, um, putting sigils on bodies, uh, stuffing different things into bodies. Um, I think necromancy, uh, there's a lot of different variations, but very few necromancers do what people think necromancers do. So uh, I think that a lot of us communicate with the dead, and then that's that, that's a part of necromancy. And then uh, we also work with death energy, but that's not this, that's not evil. It's just uh, it's just a particular energy. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just it just is. And death is of course very uh, vital as far as the transformation of the soul. The soul go it allows the soul to go on to another life. Um, so when it comes to reincarnation, has Kali what is the has Kali Ma, traveled with you through multiple lives is that something that's happened oh yeah oh yeah for sure for sure this is the first lab that i remember that she's been held with me so long that i've actually confronted her but she had different faces just recently actually um last week i i found out she has another name um uh, a good wizard friend of mine my gypsy heritage friend uh, Grant Withers, he has his own, he does beautiful gypsy jazz, loves it. He told me that Kali Mo goes over there by St. Sarah Swati, or St. Sarah de Kali. And so that's her name for the gypsies. And I was just like, her picture, is, it's the same, the same deity, the same energy. And so it's just a different name. And so then I got even more into it. And of course, Big Brother, he always has a video and he has a whole set list my big brother is Turian hicks he's the dark lord he has his own channel and uh he teaches for a cult college and he's the shaman of the year just so you know he's the best and uh he has a whole lesson in class on her and he that's how i i got into the meditation deep i did everything he said exactly the way he said it and of course she's just bestows her beauty on me and she's just standing there and she's all gorgeous like and holds me and she's amazing and she loves loves being all hot if you're want to crank the heat up she's there she mm -hmm. likes it hot and she's super feisty so so fine. when it comes to the occult college that you mentioned um how does somebody like look that up like oh like it's you can look it up. It's on YouTube. Like you can, all you have to do is like hashtag a cold college and everything. All like 500 million videos will pop up. Um, and your brother is what name? Like if somebody uh, wants to look for your brother. Terrain Hicks. Um, he's a, he's the dark Lord. His channel is called dark Lordism. Mm -hmm. And it's like super big deal. I love him. He's the best. Um, yeah, look into that for real. He's like serious sauce, like super serious sauce. We do hardcore meditations, and it's it's some serious stuff. And enlightening. Oh yeah, and manifesting. Like I I needed a car. I have two. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I was like, oh, I needed a car to get me from my house. That's only a seven minute car ride to my work at David's Bridal, but on foot it's an hour. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm cool and gravy, but almost a year ago I blew out my knee and I'm not trying to redo that again. And so I'm trying to take it like, hey, let's just be cool with what we got and slow ourselves back into things as I'm like doing bike tricks and stuff too at the same time. So. <laughs> But so, so basically, contacting Kali Ma in a certain way through the proper formula when it comes to either mantra or ritual, um, she will manifest things for you in your life. So, um, are there any tips as far as ritual or mantra goes that you uh, would recommend for somebody trying to connect with Kali Ma to get something to manifest? Clean your house. Clean your house. Keep your house clean. Clean your house. Clean your house. She won't come over if your house is dirty. 
If you have clutter, if you have stuff sitting around your house, she does not like trash in your living room. She will not hang out with you if you have your closet destroyed by a closet monster. She don't want to know that. You have to have a clean house. Have to have a clean house. And then you have to be clean. You have to get your drama all situated so you're not being like, here's all my stuff. Take care of it. Because she's not going to help you. She's going to be like, here's this fire to deal with. And she'll literally do that. This is one of the reasons one of, one of my sisters, she does not like to practice magic with me anymore. And she's she thinks I'm actually in a cult because I talk to Kalima. And she thinks that she's evil and horrible and awful and the worst person mm-hmm. you can be. If you follow Kalima, because she's a destroyer and she's a goddess of death. And so you don't want none of that. But that's not how I see her. I see her as my mom and my caregiver and my, yeah, she's going to kick you in the butt when you need it. (laughs) You've been sitting up at this dude's house for a year not doing none of your schoolwork. Of course, I'm going to set his house on fire and get you the half out of there. Come on. Go to school. Do your homework. Yeah. And so brother lays it out all right there for you, and you, you do the mantras, and these are, like, thousand-year-old mantras, okay? Like, and it's not just me. It's people all over the whole planet chanting these mantras for thousands of years. And they hand so they, it So, so those, these mantras have been empowered by all of that focus from generation after generation of people around the world, basically. And everyone's seen everyone everyone who says the sounds, you see you feel the sounds when you say them. You say them and you feel them and it, it triggers all kinds of stuff. And so your whole body is being just lit up, like all the lights are going off. And so then then she sees you because you're finally right with yourself and you're finally like, Hey, I really because there's one thing to say, Hey mom, but it's another thing is to, to listen for her to say hey baby (laughs) you got she don't talk a lot she does not talk a lot she's short simple not so sweet sometimes for sure along with if you do exactly what she says for sure so so like uh beyond what you just said is there is there any reason somebody should seek out kalima so like if somebody's not satisfied with their spiritual life what are the reasons they should seek out Kali Ma to make them a part of their life? Do you have any do you have any uh, comments on that? Well, I I always tell people go go to her. Just don't expect anything, because if you expect her to be the Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz, she's gonna be that. She doesn't want to be that, but she will. If you go to her. And you see her, you want to see her as this mom like I do, she's going to talk to you differently. She, You're going to have to listen to her because she's going to work real fast. Because she's real, real, real fast. If you listen. If you don't listen, she's going to be like, back on, go back on. And and then she'll let your your life just happen the way it it. She doesn't want it to, and she'll just be like, here's some more hurdles for you to jump. If you want to jump them, you can call me up and we can talk business, but here's some more for you, mm-hmm. just if you like it. Because that's what you project out. Like, you're like, this is so hard for me. Why is my life so hard? Well, because you keep asking the universe to make your life hard. That, makes, she- that, that makes a lot of sense, for sure. Oh. It's... uh. It's, you know, that really, I can back that up because my experience is that the things that I, the things that I want in life, as far as when it comes to my desires, they do not, you know, since I'm so close to Kalima, they do not manifest um, if Kalima does not want them to. And uh, she wants what's best for me because I'm so close to her. So she doesn't allow those things to manifest. And she, she basically tells me, like, you know, the only the things that are, are good for your spiritual development, your uh, all the lifetimes that you're trying to get back to the source, um, that's the only thing that I'm going to give to you because that is proper fuel for your ascension. Um, all this other material stuff is not 
good for your ascension. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we can definitely agree on that. At any rate, um, we'll keep on talking, but thank you very much for uh, coming to the channel, being on this uh, video with me today. No worries. Yeah, Thanks and... Uh, talking about mom. <laughs> right? Uh, well, my we mom, had too. My mom first. I'm like, I can't talk about anything before my mom got me here. My mom's going to be first. For sure, for sure. And uh, I feel the same way, actually. At any rate, thank you all very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. If any of you want to contact me on Facebook and request a video or contact me about Kalima, feel free to go to www.facebook.com slash hunter.salazar. Message me, friend me, what have you. At any rate, I hope all of you have a wonderful day.